Why did the digital nomad get a Wi-Fi tattoo? Because he wanted to stay connected everywhere. Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of digital nomads. Today we delve into the heart of sustainable practices that not only save money but also minimize environmental impact. We'll explore green travel, sustainable accommodation, responsible consumption, and green work practices. We're here to help you live the digital nomad life to the fullest without leaving a carbon footprint behind. Stay tuned to learn more about these sustainable practices and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Scene Script Traveling is a major part of a digital nomad's life, but it doesn't have to be a major part of your carbon footprint. As digital nomads, our lifestyle inherently involves a lot of travel. But have you ever wondered how you could make your travels more eco-friendly? Let's dive into some sustainable practices that can help minimize your environmental impact and save you some money along the way. First things first, let's talk transportation. Instead of hopping on a plane for every journey, consider greener options. Trains, buses, or carpooling are great alternatives that significantly reduce your carbon emissions. If you're traveling short distances, why not cycle or walk? Not only is it free, but it's a fantastic way to stay active and explore your surroundings. Now, if you absolutely must fly, consider offsetting your carbon emissions. Many airlines offer carbon offset programs where you can invest in environmental projects to balance out the emissions from your flight. It's a small step, but every bit counts. Next, let's address waste. Traveling can often lead to a lot of unnecessary waste, especially with single-use items. Carry a reusable water bottle, coffee cup, and shopping bags. Instead of buying travel-sized toiletries, fill up reusable containers. Opt for e-tickets and online reservations to minimize paper waste. You'll be surprised how much you can reduce your environmental footprint and save money by making these small changes. While you're exploring new places, respect the local environment. Stick to marked trails when hiking, don't litter, and avoid disturbing wildlife. Remember, we are guests in these places, so let's treat them with the care they deserve. Lastly, think about your food choices. Eating local and seasonal food reduces the carbon emissions associated with transporting goods. Plus, it's a great way to support local economies and experience authentic cuisine. Remember, every little bit helps when it comes to saving our planet. Speaking of helping, help us out by subscribing to our channel. Where you lay your head at night can also be a place where you make a big difference. As digital nomads, we have the unique opportunity to choose our accommodations based on our values, and sustainability should be at the top of that list. When seeking out a place to stay, look for accommodations that prioritize eco-friendly practices. This could mean a variety of things, from the use of solar power and energy-efficient appliances, to a commitment to recycling and composting or even a dedication to preserving local wildlife. Choosing a sustainable accommodation isn't just about the broader environmental impact, though. It can also be about the little things that add up over time. For instance, using energy-efficient appliances and minimizing your energy usage can significantly reduce your environmental footprint. Consider this. An energy-efficient LED bulb uses up to 80% less energy than traditional incandescent lighting. That means less demand on the power grid, which in turn means fewer greenhouse gas emissions. Now multiply that by the number of lights in your accommodation and you can see how quickly the savings, both financial and environmental, can add up. But it's not just about the lights. Consider your other appliances as well. Is your accommodation using energy-efficient heating and cooling systems? Are you mindful of turning off appliances when they're not in use? Even something as simple as unplugging your devices once they're fully charged can make a difference. And remember, minimizing energy usage isn't just about the appliances. It's about your habits as well. Are you taking short showers instead of long baths? Are you reusing your towels instead of asking for new ones each day? These small changes can have a big impact over time. So, the next time you're booking your stay, remember to look for accommodations that align with your values. Choose places that prioritize sustainability and make small changes in your daily habits to reduce your energy usage. A good night's sleep can be even better, knowing you're doing your part for the environment. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe. Being a digital nomad doesn't mean you can't be a responsible consumer. In fact, the flexibility and freedom that come with the digital nomad lifestyle can actually make it easier to be more mindful of your consumption habits. So, how can you make sure that your purchases are not only good for your wallet, but also for the planet? One of the most effective ways is to buy local. 
Shopping locally not only reduces the carbon footprint associated with shipping goods across long distances, but also supports local economies and communities. And let's not forget, local products often have a unique charm and quality to them that mass-produced items simply can't match. Reducing, reusing, and recycling are three more key strategies to responsible consumption. Before making a purchase, ask yourself, do I really need this? If the answer is yes, then consider buying secondhand or look for products made from recycled materials. And once you're done with an item, don't just toss it away. Find a way to reuse it or recycle it if possible. Lastly, consider supporting businesses that prioritize sustainability. These are companies that are committed to minimizing their environmental impact, treating their workers fairly, and contributing positively to their communities. By choosing to spend your money with these businesses, you're not just buying a product or service, you're also helping to promote a more sustainable and equitable economy. Being a responsible consumer doesn't have to be difficult or expensive. In fact, it can often save you money in the long run. For example, buying a reusable water bottle might seem more expensive up front than buying a single-use plastic bottle. But over time, the cost of constantly buying new plastic bottles adds up, while the reusable bottle is a one-time purchase. So, as a digital nomad, take advantage of your unique lifestyle to make more sustainable choices. Remember, every dollar you spend is a vote for the kind of world you want to live in. And don't forget to vote for us by hitting that subscribe button. Working remotely doesn't have to mean working wastefully. Welcome to the green side of remote work, where efficiency and sustainability blend seamlessly. As digital nomads, we have the power to shape our work habits around environmentally friendly practices. So let's get into how we can do this. First, let's talk about digitalizing work. Gone are the days of printing out every single document. Now we can store and share everything digitally. This not only saves paper, but also reduces the need for physical storage space. Imagine the number of trees we can save by going completely digital. It's a small change, but it can make a big difference. Now, on to our devices. We rely heavily on our gadgets, don't we? But did you know that not all devices are created equal when it comes to energy consumption? It's true. Investing in energy-efficient devices can significantly reduce our carbon footprint. From laptops to phones, always look for devices with high energy efficiency ratings. Over time, they'll not only save the planet, but they'll also save you money on electricity bills. Next, let's consider our workspaces. While working from home is a great option, sometimes we need a change of scenery. That's where co-working spaces come in, but not just any co-working spaces. We're talking about those that prioritize sustainability. These spaces often have initiatives like recycling programs, energy-efficient lighting, and even indoor plants for better air quality. Choosing these spaces supports businesses that are doing their part for the environment. Lastly, let's not forget about the little things. Powering down devices when they're not in use, using reusable coffee cups or walking to the local cafe instead of driving, all these small actions add up to create a bigger impact. So there you have it, folks. Sustainability and digital nomadism can go hand in hand. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips. And that's a wrap on today's video. We've explored the digital nomad life, traveled green, found sustainable accommodations, consumed responsibly, and implemented green work practices. It's not just about saving money, it's about making a difference. Small changes in our everyday routines can have a big impact on our planet. So let's start the journey towards a more sustainable lifestyle together. Remember, every step towards sustainability counts. Thanks for joining us on Digital Nomad. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure.